treatments and survival have come a long way. Treatments, innovations and technologies have taken on a new direction, giving hope to many. We are here to meet consultant oncologist Datuk Dr. Ibrahim to speak about cancer treatment and how it can help. Let's find out. Hi Datuk Ibrahim, thank you for joining on Debunking Medical Myths. Datuk, what are the modalities of treatment which are available to treat cancer? Okay. It is important to know that cancer is not a one-man show. Okay? Cancer treatment requires many specialties, many specialists, doctors in, involved in treating the patients. So the treat, treatment involves could be surgery, radiotherapy, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, targeted therapy, or where we cannot offer curative treatments to patients, we offer what we call palliative treatment. Palliative treatment shifts from treating the cancer to treating the patient, treating the symptoms. So. Treatment with cancer requires input from all the specialists, from surgery to oncology. So there are a lot of people in the background who are helping to support the treatment for that particular patient without that patient realizing. And each treatment differs from patient to patient, from cancer to cancer. So treatment for lung cancer, the drugs are different. Treatment for breast cancer, uh, treatment is different nose cancer, the treatment is different and each patient, even with uh, each particular stage, the treatment may differ from patient to patient. Doctor, could you please elaborate more about TrueBeam and Halcyon being the latest innovations in radiotherapy? TrueBeam and Halcyon are our two latest generation of radiotherapy machines. They are highly precise, highly accurate, very fast, very efficient and we are able to treat patients uh, without much complications, without much side effects. The Halcyon looks a little bit like the CT scan, where the what we call the linear accelerator, the part that actually delivers the X-ray beam, is incorporated uh, in the uh, body of the machine. And the patient uh, is uh, lies on the couch and moves in very, very slowly as the beam rotates inside so they do not see any mechanical parts any movement and the radiation is de delivered um, very precisely other advantage of the halcyon is before you start treatment you're able to image the patient and take a precise location of the tumor and the anatomy of the patient so that you do not treat the wrong bits say for example when we treat breast cancer on the, if the breast cancer is on the left hand side, there is the heart just behind the chest wall and also, you know, the lung tissue that surrounds, that, that's behind the chest wall. So again, with respiration, the chest wall moves in and out. The key thing here is the speed. Halcyon has the speed. We can do a beam on time in less than two minutes, the treatment is done. So that's where Halcyon technology is very, very useful for treating the breast. So, so you can again try to avoid treating these good cells and just concentrating on the areas of the breast and the, or the chest wall that we need to treat. TrueBeam is a slightly different machine it looks like the traditional radiation machine, uh, but it has a sidearm, which what we call the image guidance system. TrueBeam is able to deliver something called stereotactic treatment. It delivers in a more precise way. It's like if you, I can compare like a sniper. You know, you have a target, you identify the target in the body, and you're just interested in hitting that particular target. Whereas Halcyon, it's not only treating the target, but you need to treat the area around the target. Now, one of the key advantage of some of these modern technology is seen in the true beam. Say, for example, when we're treating lung cancer, the cancer which is in the lung will move up and down 
together with our respiration. The challenge here is how do you treat a moving target with a static beam of radiation? True beam has something called gating. What it does is when you breathe in and out, it will know precisely when the tumor falls in the line of radiation. So as the tumor moves up and down, at a certain position, it's in the line of radiation, the beam turns on. And then as it moves away from, the, away from that, the beam gets cut off. So by doing, turning the beam on and off at precisely the point where the radiation is shining, we are able to avoid treating the good part of the lung. So we are just focusing just the tumor and avoiding hitting the normal tissue or the normal lung tissue which surrounds the tumor. So that's the key thing about SBRT technology and about true beam where we can modulate the beam in such a way that it is always targeting the tumor and not hitting the good cells surrounding the tumor. So with this kind of technology, we can deliver big, big doses in a very short period of time. Uh, so treatment is all completed within a week and be back to normal again within you know a few days without having to recover from any ill effects or toxicity or any you know, damage to the, any of the organs. Leave the treatment to us. We will choose the best modality and the best way to cure your cancer.